let's construct a sequence whose limit is actually a square root okay so what i'm trying to actually construct here is for for some you know real number greater than 0 for some number greater than 0 so a greater than 0 let's construct a sequence a sequence a n a n greater n greater than or equal to 1 such that a n tends to root a not a but square root of a okay what why we are trying to do that because that would actually imply that i can find out root of a number by looking at some sequence some sort of sequence so what kind of a sequence should that be so root a can actually be approximated via some sort of a sequence and what should that sequence be so let's try to do that first of all so let us define define some terms so let us define a1 as 1 and a n plus 1 as half of a n plus a upon a n. Now what will this give us? We will try to get that. So first thing that we need to look at is whether this sequence will be monoton a sequence defined the way we are defining whether this will be monotone. So what do we have? We have an plus 1 as half an plus a by an. Okay. Now this means that an, an will satisfy, will satisfy a quadratic equation. will satisfy a quadratic equation and what's that quadratic equation? The quadratic relation is half a n square minus a n plus 1 into a n plus half a equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation and a n should be satisfying this quadratic equation and this would imply that the discriminant should be greater than or equal to 0. So this equation should have discriminant greater than or equal to 0 for having real roots. So a n plus 1 square minus a should be greater than or equal to 0 b square minus 4 a c should be greater than or equal to 0 for all n greater than or equal to 1 okay and what does that mean what does that mean that means for now a1 is 1 we know that right a1 is 1 so this means for for any n greater than or equal to 2 what do we have we have a n square minus a is greater than or equal to 0 even for n greater than or equal to 2 right now what does all this imply so a n plus 1 minus a n equals to half of a n plus a by a, a n minus a n what have we done we have just subtracted a n from both the sides right this is my a n plus 1 I've subtracted I've just subtracted a n from both the sides and what will this give me this will essentially give me half of a n minus minus half of a n square minus a by a n now this is positive this is positive you have a negative sign here that means this will be less than or equal to 0 less than or equal to 0 so which means that 
a n plus 1 will be less than or equal to a n for all n greater than or equal to 2. Right? How are we getting it? We are getting it because a n plus 1 minus a n turns out to be less than or equal to 0. That implies a n plus 1 is less than or equal to a n. So, this implies that it is a decreasing sequence. So, we have found out that this is a decreasing sequence, okay. Now, number 2 is your boundedness. Bounded, whether it is bounded or not. Okay, so let's find out. What do we have? We have a n greater than or equal to 0 for all n greater than or equal to 1, okay. That's how we have defined it. Now, a n will be less than or equal to a 2 for all n greater than or equal to 2 because it's a decreasing sequence, because it's a decreasing sequence. So, what we can say from here is that a n, okay, this is a 2, a n actually lies between a 2 and 0, a n lies between a 2 and 0. And this is happening for all n greater than or equal to 2. That implies that it is bounded. A n is, A n is bounded. Okay. A n is clearly bounded. So, which implies that the sequence A n should tend to a limit. Okay. Let that limit be some, some L. Okay. We have to find out what is this L. We have a relationship that a n plus 1 is equal to is equal to a n plus a upon a n into into half right half of this. Now a n tends to l a n plus 1 also tends to l so l equals to l plus a by L half, okay, which means we have an equation L square is equal to half L square plus half A, which actually implies half L square equals to half A implies L should equal to root A and so, this was a construction of a sequence which will have, which will have the limit as root of a real number which means that we can, we can approximate square root, square root of a real num real number via a sequence the way we constructed.